Hello everyone! Digibro here. You may remember that a while back I got a box from this company called Viewster who has this new thing called the Omakase box. And uh, I had thought that they had just sent it to me without me even telling them to, like in that video. But it was just because I forgot that they sent me an email like three months prior and I had indeed signed up for it. Um, and then I said in that video, hey, it looks like you guys have a Kill Lock Kill Box coming this fall. I want one. Send it to me and I'll make another video. And they said, okay. So they sent me this fucking huge box. Uh, it's got a bunch of vaguely anime-ish things on the back. I think you're going to have to be prepared to change focus when I start pulling stuff out of this box. <laughs> We're going to open this son of a bitch. Alrighty. So. Big old gift box. It's blue. Alrighty. I already see some, uh... Just so happens that they used this picture, which I have on a poster, uh, right over here. You can't see it, but, um... I have this as a poster, and on the back it lists all the, all the goods. So let's see what kind of goods we got here. I like the look of this. Alright, we've got a armband with the, uh, the school symbol thing. Which, uh, is on the three-star uniforms from the show. So if I want to become Gamaguri, I can become Gamaguri. Let's see how this feels. I don't really wear wristbands ever. Sweatbands. Especially because it's wintertime, so... Well, I don't know. Would this be like a, a warmer? Looking at you, Vic. <laughs> It's funny because Victor's like, Victor's like above the camera, but he's looking into the camera. So I looked up at him, but uh, he's just like, where are you looking? Oh my God. Look at that, man. It covers up my sweet tats. So, oh yeah, it does cover up your tattoos. <laughs> you can have that if you want it. Um, I don't. This is a hardcover holographic volume one of the manga. Check the focus, please. You're holding it right into your face. What do you think is happening here? Manga by Ryo Akizuki, story by Trigger and Kazuki Nakashima, and supervision by Kazuki Nakashima, which is the writer of the show. So, yeah, volume one of the manga. It's got some, uh, it's got some color pages in it. I've never read this manga. I don't know if it's any good, but it's pretty cool to get a hardcover holographic version. Apparently published by something called Udon, which I've never heard of. Never heard of Udon Publishers, so maybe it's tied to Aniplex somehow. No idea. What the hell is this gonna be? All right. Okay. This appears to be some kind of red cosplay scarf. Uh, yes, it is a scarf. Does anyone wear like? Is it for like the uniform scarf? I don't really know. Scarf? It's huge. Who wears a scarf in this show? A red scarf? I really don't know. I mean, it says Kill La Kill Scarves on it. Well, I'm gonna leave that one up to the imaginations of it anyone needs who knows. The proper fabric to uh, cut up and make a Kill La Kill cosplay. It, it says scarves. Uh, you know what? Maybe she wears it with her day-to-day -day outfit. Does she wear a scarf? Really, I'm really lost on this. Let me flip through the manga real quick. See if I can find a scarf that someone wears. I'm not seeing any scarves, dude! I don't know whose scarf this is supposed to be. Well, there's a, a big red scarf that says it's a, a kill on kill scarf. So that's, I guess, a thing. Alright. Now we've got some huge fucking package. This definitely looks like a towel. Alright. It does appear to be a huge fucking towel. Let's see what this is. Hmm. This is like very involved. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is this upside down? Or right, this is upside down. Okay. It is a big ass towel. Of, uh... 
Looks like Mako doing her impression of Ryuko. Yeah, it's Mako doing a Ryuko impression. On, I, can the, is this like perceivable by the camera at all? Yeah. Me attempting to make this clear? Here, let's do like a scroll up. Apropos. <laughs> yes. There we go. I feel like I've... I feel like I've done it justice now. Um, enormous towel of Mako doing her Ryuko impression. Oh, here we go. There's like a small picture that shows you the whole thing. I made it, it would have made it a lot easier to comprehend. Anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm wondering if this is like Sushio art. This is the kind of thing that you would get at a convention for like $60. It would be like expensive as shit. And you'd be like, why did I pay that much? Now the question is, do I hang this on my wall or do I use this as a towel? Because it does make kind of a cool poster. And I'm looking at my uh, my doors over there, my closet doors. And I feel like this would be a good... Like this would cover most of my closet door. And that's like one of the only places in my room that doesn't have a poster. So maybe I'll hang it up there. So all told, we've got that, this, the manga, and there should be a button. It says that there's a guts button somewhere. Oh, it's a Senketsu scarf is what it says. But I don't see any eyeballs on it. Oh! Ah oh, ha ha! Ancient Chinese secret! <laughs> Do you see that there's the eyeball? Okay, so the scarf is Senketsu. Why is it so fucking long? Is it just that it needs to be folded over a bunch of times? Like... Well, it's a Senketsu scarf, as you can tell by this eyeball here. So, mystery solved. Uh, Alright, that's the Kill La Kill Omakase box. I guess it was pretty cool. It's cool to have the manga. Um, don't have to buy it myself. And this towel I'll probably put up somewhere. Uh, not too shabby. I gotta say, these Viewster boxes, I think uh, if you are into whatever show they're doing for that particular season... Might be worth it. I enjoyed all the stuff I got for Hatsune Miku time. I, I... I don't know. None of this is stuff I would buy on its own. I don't know how much it... I think these boxes are 25 bucks. If you really like... If you like these products, then go for it. You can stop recording me now. I... I am done talking.